Hello and welcome to History Speed, a new channel focusing on quick, simple summaries of classical and medieval history. Today's topic is on the Heptarchy and the formation of the first Anglo-Saxon Kingdom of England. The Anglo-Saxon Kingdoms of Britain and the formation of the First Kingdom of England were defining features of early medieval history. These kingdoms were collectively known as the Heptarchy, or Seven Rules. But first, a quick summary on how the Anglo-Saxons migrated to the Isles. The fall of the Roman Empire in the 5th century changed a lot in Europe. Britain saw its Roman garrisons deployed away from notable locations, such as Hadrian's Wall, leaving Britain open to the threats of the Picts and the Scots to the north. There are also records of small groups of Anglo-Saxons migrating to the Isles after the Roman legions left as well. However, it is believed that Vortigern, a historically disputed figure depicted in the tales of King Arthur, sought the help of Hengist and Horsa, the two brothers said to have led the Saxon invasion of Britain. Saxons rebelled against Vortigern shortly after, in an event the Celtic Britons called the Treachery of the Long Knives. Horsa was killed fighting Celtic Britons, while Hengist forced the British out of Kent and became the first Anglo-Saxon king in England. The Heptarchy itself refers to the seven Anglo-Saxon kingdoms of England. However, the number of kingdoms always varied, and so did their stature and influence in England. The major seven kingdoms that are referred to as the Heptarchy were East Anglia, Essex, Kent, Mercia, Northumbria, Sussex, and Wessex. Most of these kingdoms survived until the creation of the Kingdom of England in 927. Other minor kingdoms such as Middlesex, or Middle Saxons, or Daria were also present, but were quickly absorbed by their larger neighbours. The creation of the Anglo-Saxon Kingdom of England was a slow process, but it culminated with Aethelstan, who inherited the kingdoms of Mercia and Wessex after his father, King Edward the Elder, passed on. He was recognised as the King of the Saxons, and in 927, he took the lands of York from the Vikings, uniting the lands of England under a single Anglo-Saxon ruler for the first time in history. Aethelstan went on to subjugate the Picts and the Scots to the north as well, but that is for another video. Thanks so much for watching the video. This is hopefully the first video in a massive series of medieval and classical history. If you like the video or want to see more like it, feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell for an alert the next time I upload. Once again, thank you for tuning in to History Speed, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.